Hello everybody, this is Daphne and welcome to my channel and today I'm gonna be showing you how I make a photo box. So uh, on Amazon, uh, the smallest photo box that I saw was for $17, but then I just don't want to spend anything on uh, Amazon for the meantime because we are in quarantine so I don't have that budget now I don't have a job so um, I found a box uh, here in our house it's just laying around I know you have a box that is laying around I know you guys are ordering a lot of stuff from Amazon so just get a cube box just like the one here I'm using um, the one that used to be a box for our vacuum so what you need to do is just cut the flaps so don't cut all the flaps um, just leave one flap okay so I'm just using a you know you can use scissors or cutter but this one is just really thick so this is the one that I have on hand I don't know what it's called it's just, um, my husband just gave it to me to uh, make it easier for me to cut off the flaps so yeah just leave one flap and then prepare a um a foil which we are gonna place at the top part of course inside but at the top part of the box so that uh when we shine the light through the light will just reflect or will bounce to the product so yeah so just choose any box that uh, you think will fit uh, the products that you are going to uh, shoot uh, but for me I've been sent uh, PR packages for like skincare products beauty products so this size of uh, or the size of the box that I am using or I'm gonna be using now is just enough for that um, for those products so yeah so just leave one flap as you can see here so where the flap is, that is going to be our bottom part. So I'm just labeling it. And then our top. And then at the top part of our photo box, we are going to be gluing a foil. I know you have this guys in your house, especially in the kitchen. So our foil is going to act as our reflector. Just measure uh, the foil. It doesn't have to be exactly, you know, exact measurements. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just because we're just going to glue it anyways. And it's at the top part. It would not be seen when you, you know, shoot your products. So just follow what I'm doing right here. Just glue it on. Or you can use Elmer's glue or you can use a glue stick or you can use whatever uh, to stick it on. I don't want to recommend tape because um it's prone to tearing like if you don't uh glue or if you don't glue down the foil it may be prone to you know um tearing apart or whatever it's not gonna be stable if you like you know move your photo box frequently or arranging your products and it happens to be tall so it might tear the foil foil so might as well glue it on really nice so yeah so just follow what I'm doing right here
Next is get a parchment paper or any white paper that is just laying around your house. Uh, this one is just convenient for me because again it's also in the kitchen so I just grab it as well with the foil. So you're gonna uh, glue on the parchment paper um, on the rest of the box and doesn't have to be perfect again as long as you are able to cover all the sides or all the insides of the box with white paper or parchment paper is what I'm using right here so it's it's easier again to glue it on just so you make sure that it is secure just cover it all in white of course we wanted to have a uh, white uh, balance on the products once we started uh, shooting pictures you want like white background like clean background so that's why we're placing white paper and just follow what I'm doing right here So after that, uh, let the box dry for a couple of minutes before we can play around and shoot our products. So this is how what we are going for. Now that the glue has completely dried, I got this uh, vinyl vinyl top liner. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm not good in English but I got I just got this from the dollar store this is gonna be my background for the products that I'm gonna be shooting for today and what I'm gonna be doing is I'm just gonna place a single tape and then tape it onto the top part don't fold the background because we wanted to have a seamless background so don't fold it just let it lay there inside the box and make sure that it is well arranged and then now get your ring light and then you can start shooting your products make sure that you have a great amount of lighting when you are shooting your products we wanted to uh, emphasize or put more attention to the product so the only way to do that is to have a great lighting so you can use a lamp flashlight for me it's ring light here I have my ring light. I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, play around uh, with the lighting. So uh, later on, I'm gonna show you some pictures, but I'm gonna put the ring light closer to the product, like in, like almost inside the box in there. And you can just start to play around and I'll show you some pictures. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY projects. Have a good one. Thank you for watching.